Hey guys, uh, Life here from iTech. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, set up the uh, conversion decimal and uh, hex conversion on card readers in PiperCut. Uh, I just came across this the other day and uh, I'm going to show you in my user accounts. I've got uh, two different uh, brands of card readers and they do read the cards uh, differently. So I'm going to go into my user account and show you down in the uh, notes here. Uh, I've got the uh, the Konica Minolta is reading uh, the card as a hex, hex value. And uh, I've also got a, uh, a brother MFD on the same network uh, reading the same card as a decimal value. So the problem with that is that uh, when you go move from one uh, device to another uh, it doesn't recognize the card uh, because it interprets it uh, as a different value so uh, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to uh, to fix this uh, as we know the card reader will by default read the uh, value of the card into the this field here the primary uh, card identity number and a couple of things you can do we can look at the changing the conversion or you can put uh, choose to put this uh, the second value into the secondary card reader so I'm gonna go into my device and you can see I've got three devices here I've got a couple of Konica Minolta devices reading the card as a hex value and I've got a brother device uh, with a card reader reading it as decimal. So I'm going to go into the uh, brother device. I'm going to go into the advanced config. Uh, and I'm going to show you the, uh, uh, the value to change. So in the, I'm just going to cross that out. You can see you've got a, di a few different keys in here. And the key we want to change is this one here external device card uh, and O converter uh, by default this value is set to global and uh, all we have to do is to type this command in here or this uh, conversion function that is built into PaperCut it's called DEC2 hex H-E-X so just type that into that uh, field override the global value and hit update and you've sorted it uh, and you will then be able to read or the same card will be read as the same value across all your uh, devices uh, another workaround for this would be to change this field here the external device card self association use secondary card number you could set this value to yes and it will read the decimal value into the secondary key. Uh, problem with that of course is if you're using the secondary key already as a pin code for example then uh, the first option would be uh, your better uh, option. So uh, that's it, that's how we get around that issue.